I'm Josh. And I'm Rootscar. And we're playing Fallout 3. We're playing the DLC The Pit, which is ostensibly set in Pittsburgh. And we've come here because we met some shady guy in the regular part of the game, and he asked us to come here and do something to help these people. And so Wait, we did, why did the gate here. just open? I killed everybody yeah, out here at the end of last episode. How did the gate open? Do they have, like, motion sensors? Definitely this is one of those motion-sensing wrought iron gates, yeah. So, a few new weapons with this DLC. One of them is the, uh... Infiltrator, which you see me picking up, uh, various instances of here. These are basically, um, normal assault rifles. But, uh, but with, with scopes with and silencers that don't actually, uh, silence anything. Yeah, I was actually always kind of wondering, uh, because there's the silence 10mm pistols, how much effect do those really have? Uh, well, the thing with 10mm pistols is, in sneak, they, uh, um, they're silent so you can, like, shoot it and nobody will immediately know where you are. Yeah, but so I'm if, gonna walk through this shoot gate somebody... here since I killed all the slavers outside guarding it. Um, and we're just gonna go through here and free all the slaves. Right? I'm sure it'll be that sure. easy. I have no doubt. Yep. You know, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of expensive for, you know, just a couple firefights, uh, but what? still. You thought you could kill my buddies at the gate and we just let you walk in here? Yes. On any other day. I just stick you out for the trucks. But Ash uh, said, the old RPG the trope, and captured in a cutscene. But it looks like we're going to get. That's even worse out, than that. Eh? Good luck. Get him, boys. Check this out. I can't I think move. We can take him. I I can't. I just I fall over because they're beating me with sticks. That's enough. This yeah. is not a good way to start some DLC. It takes him like a couple seconds too to get you down. I mean, <laughs> you've killed you've killed more mutants than that because you wear frag grenades as shoes. I mean, you're not really a stranger to being surrounded by guys and killing all of them. Anybody Besides, who's the door is right there. The yeah. Not Just you mean what was I thinking? Trying I to shoot my way in here. That's always what I do. It doesn't matter. You're here now. My cleverness comes from my. So that's good. Vast encyclopedic knowledge of how to kill people. What did she expect you to do? Sell yourself into slavery to get in here? Oh my I mean, god, what am I wearing? At least I still got <laughs> mutton chops. <laughs> Somehow I think the mutton chops make it a little bit worse. Yeah. Okay, so I got my switchblade, no. which looks remarkably useless. Actually, you know who that reminds me of? What's that one Sean Connery movie? Zardoz? Oh, no. Okay, so I'm supposed to find Midia or something, right? Oh, hey, there's a pit raider. Hey, I need to be hidden. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck it. You've been caught pickpocketing, god damn it. Oh now I'm hidden. You stole that. No I didn't. Uh so uh fighting your way out of here doesn't tend to work too well. Um I can't believe Yeah, what do you want? But we'll see what yeah. I can do. I, well, I mean working. what else are you gonna do? You Talk your way out, sneak I your way out, the pick the lock on the door, make friends and alliances. Well. The good news is that this crap is nearly unlimited. But it's mostly radiated water and trog meat anyway. You so they talk about how terrible this food is. Your funeral. Check this out. Slop. 22 rads, 25 HP. This thing is a fucking ice cold hey, nuka cold. Yeah. Hey, you want some horrible. So I'm gonna get a few Which of these. I think the food is slightly. Hey, you want some horrible food? 
It's like, what? what is this horrible food? This is like gourmet is dining like here. Okay, yeah, we've got all like that we everyone can. else. I mean, okay, so it's trog meat and water. I mean, is that gonna be better than the 12 cockroaches you ate in the span of two seconds while fighting those super mutants earlier? Yeah, yeah. uh. Or the 200 year old flat warm. Was Lydia the one that actually, like, picked me up? Oh, yeah, there she is. Get away from me, the guards can see us. We'll talk later. Then get to your fucking house! God, why am I so bad at pickpocketing all of a sudden? <laughs> all of a sudden? I think all of a sudden, you, he, you don't have your Chinese. Been 50, 50. I was able to siphon that flamer fuel that one time. You don't have your stealth suit on, so that's hurting. Yeah, you. but I was still hidden. Right, we can talk now, but we shouldn't take too long. That's they saw true. you come in here, so they'll come looking for you. If you, you know, you're really starting to grate on my I nerves here, Midia. I have a tendency to, to kill people like you. In the meantime, you're going to have to. No, I don't understand. The guy asked us to come here and help, but what is our goal? Like, we haven't been given a goal yet. It was I like, oh, I need you to go in here and get captured for some reason. It's possible that I missed it because I have. I haven't uh, busy, seen all of the pit quickly. myself. And if they get too close, but yeah, have we been I, landed I a proper goal? Um, the goal is to um go in there and get the cure. The cure. The cure. They don't really uh oh. want to elaborate on it beyond that. Well, right. Everybody's infected with this weird we'll thing that turns them into now, trogs. Now, which we haven't seen meal, one yet. But instead of having problems with radiation, they've got Every so often, this the trog problem, which is them. just this weird sort of it's mutation. A death sentence. And they never assign it to anyone. They trog. make us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. Wait, so... What in God's name is a super mutant? Oh, here's a good line. Uh, Whatever they are, you're we wrong. ask what a super mutant is, what and... Is full of our trogs. For the first time ever in this game, someone doesn't know what a super mutant is. You're either an idiot. There's or a no mutants ass. up here. Either way, Hell, that no like mutants to me. in this DLC. Well, most of us hope we never well no mutants. super mutants anyway. The contamination gets to everyone. A place with no super mutants. Cancer. It's like a luxury sometimes spa harm, in the wasteland. For others, the contamination drives them insane. Oh, but they have trogs it here, so. It changes them. They become animals. Deformed and inhuman. It's as if it's not pretty. they're attempting they're to plug some of their plot sight. hole. Well, well, I mean, I that's really fair, I guess, but Ask even around. so, Maybe check it's not like there isn't the a thousand other maladies down south. Our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find uh, a oh, my point is that this, this place doesn't quite yard. seem they, as bad as the capital wasteland you just came out of. What's going on in here? And I think that's how it's depicted. Although it is odd that this guy had to come. What the fuck? Just he just walked had to come through me to walk through the door. And now he's standing there in an awkward pose. So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He, he knows. You know, a bit for leg hurt after standing like that for a while. Well, then. I hope you I'm gonna push you armor. back out yeah. the door now. Right, yeah, so, uh, they decided that they're gonna send me the... What the... God damn it. They're gonna send me what the, the uh... He disappeared out the door. There... Stop me up Shut up, you! Uh, they're gonna send me to go to do this thing where I gotta run out into a, uh... An abandoned steel yard and pick up some, like, iron or steel ingots. Isn't that usually like, a job for, like, a cart or uh, an animal of some kind? Yeah, like, they want me to pick up ten. These are, like, giant hunks of metal. And and they call it a death sentence. It's like, no wonder! How yeah, many people paying money do you for know slaves? that can run into an abandoned steel mill, pick up ten steel ingots, and then run back before the zombies eat them? Yeah, if How about you're... a wheelbarrow? <laughs> no. So 
I mean, if you're paying for these slaves, there's really no percentage in wasting them, even if you care nothing for their welfare. You know, send a couple at a time, and it will greatly improve their chances of survival. This ain't no union Help. shop. Oh, har har har! You're so good at writing dialogue, Bethesda. I know. Two hundred years after the bombs fall, and they're still aware of like union politics. So, if they're going through all of these slaves, I mean, it seems like at some point to become economical to give a couple of them weapons. Like maybe not weapons that yeah. can defeat the assault rifles, but like sledgehammers or, you know, just. For a while. It's not like they can escape yeah. with those, they're surrounded by guards. They can survive, kill the trogs, probably reduce the rate of infections. But no, just send this mob of... Like, that's like attack... Attacking no, no, zombies. not a mob. One at a time. Yeah, like, not even one at a time. That's like attacking zombies by sending bald people in after them with their hands tied behind their back and to steak sauce slathered all over their scalp. Okay, just kind of headbutt them to death. Wow, so, uh... Ultimate plan. It would seem our predecessors were quite good at this. Although, look at those ingots. Like, I get nice tired him just to, looking uh... at those. <laughs> nice of him to have an assault rifle handy, though. Yeah, look at that. I... I doubt... Wait, was that I a slave or a would... guard? That was a slave. So he had an assault rifle? Yes. Why'd you get an assault rifle? Because I guess he dropped it right there when he died after two seconds. <laughs> oh, well, he okay, lived long so... enough to get two ingots. Brother John John. You remember me, don't you, Billy? So, um, these guys kind of remind these are the trogs. They remind me more of uh. Why aren't they attacking of, um, you? Uh, because he's trying to woo his brother back or something. They remind me a lot of the, uh, the I Am Legend Dark Seekers. Yeah. Wait, that guy, this trog is that guy's yes! brother and his mysterious stranger. <laughs> That's hilarious. He came all the way to Pittsburgh to help you. <laughs> Man, I want the, whatever he's using to sneak around. Okay, so we gotta find ten of these. Um, I wish Actually, we could you know what they really remind me level. of is the rat ghouls from Knights of the Republic. But, you know, it's... That's true, too. Um, it's really pretty standard stuff, though. It's not like this is... Yeah. It's not like what I'm saying one do? of them ripped the I mean, other off. Right, I mean, we're talking about mutated humans. There's only so many things you can do uh, with, you know, starting with the humanoid form. Um... So, so far you've heard me mostly complain about the pit, but uh, one of the things I really like about this is uh, the pit's level design. Uh, with most shooter levels, you have a pretty linear path. Even with Bethesda games, you have a pretty like specific area that you can go to, but... Uh, you see that way up there? Or uh, over there? Or, you know, up on top of that? You can get there. Uh, this level is huge, and it's got a whole lot of, uh, of vertical design to it. Yeah, I, that, that's Which is, cool. uh, it's really a nice change from, uh, from the wasteland, which is mostly just flat and occasionally run into a burned-out house. Who put iron ingots on that shelf? Uh, maybe a <laughs> slave wanted oh, to clean man, up I... before he died. I know, oh, I gotta put my coffee cup down. Oh, and these iron ingots I've been lugging around. But still, how many do you have now? How many of those are you carrying? Let's see here. Uh, eight. Eight. This Even in a wheelbarrow, you would have you would have trouble moving those, I think. Now, and I mean, you know, it's, you are carrying a bunch of weapons. Ooh, stuff, a head wrap. But those aren't solid iron. You know, those, those are largely hollow, or they have lighter parts. You know, you can sort of vaguely see a guy carrying around a basket full of them. Something about carrying around solid iron ingots just doesn't make any sense. I know. You, they just look so... They look, oh, look so heavy. I picked up ten ingots. Now I have a perk. Remember when those were hard to get? 
Yeah, oh, I remember yeah. when you used to get one every three levels, but that was in the, uh, in the original. Yeah. Four levels in Brotherhood <laughs> of Steel. Is that, okay, wait, wait, wait. is that a skirt, or are those, like, parachute shorts? I, why is I don't this person know. attacking you? These are basically the raiders of the pit. These are called wild men. I guess they just are tolerated by, uh... The organized raiders in the pit, and don't mind if, uh, you know, they don't mind them if they just sort of hang around and kill all their slaves. Live in places yeah. that they don't care about? I don't know. Wait a minute, what exactly do they want? What do the raiders in Fallout 3 want? Your equipment, and your money, and your food I, I, and water. I guess they want that. You came in here with like a couple leather belts from oh, your torso and a gun and some items that you found lying around in the same area where these wild men live and work. And they're wait they're they're putting valuable bullets into you, which is possibly the only thing of value that you actually have. <laughs> it's the bullets that they've shot you with. So yes. like even with the me just at this have, uh but... at this fairly low level in terms of uh that in terms of eleva ele elevation, um, you can see the sort of like vertical design that this area has, and it is good looking. Okay, I'm not going to claim that it looks anything like Pittsburgh, but it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, the level design, uh, you know, sort of orange skies, uh, black silhouetted buildings, sort of fading yeah. off the oh. distance. That's really cool. And we got away from the and we got away from the pervasive green. That's nice too. Although I guess yeah. we got away from it in Anchorage when they did pervasive blue, but Anchorage yeah. was just so monotonous. This place uh, has some contrast to it. Where things can stand out. Yeah, definitely. Um, Anchorage was like all like the rest of the game is all brown, and then Anchorage was all white, and this place has uh, has contrast. Some contrast. I mean, it's still mostly Some... gray and orange, but you know. Yeah. Still. But you know, these little lights stick out and create little pools of light and things like that. Um, a little bit nicer. Plus, you can get away with that in a DLC, because, you know, you, you go to an area, you stick around for a while, you leave. You know, it's it's just sort of like a welcome contrast for, for a That's brief period too. of time. That's true, too. Um, and if I yeah, were to I mean, stay in here and get uh, 50 ingots, which I won't do this during an episode, maybe I'll come back here during the break between an episode, uh... You get if you get 50 ingots, you can trade them to Everett for uh, something called a metal blaster. Basically, think of it as a laser rifle shotgun, and it is the most overpowered weapon in the game. Like bar none, I I really want to get that at some point so I can just show off how ridiculously broken it makes everything. <laughs> well, to be sure you have to put up with getting 50 ingots. Oh shit! I'm out of ammo. <laughs> That's actually really not like uh, it's not even like that much of a problem because I really like that level. Um, I like yeah, climbing yeah, I on top of mean... things, and that sort of like vertical level design is like pretty uh, standard throughout and the whole. And there are a lot pit. of people who enjoy the sort of uh, completionist. Well, now look who made it back. I'll take those ingots, scab. You just get back in there and get about your business. You got a real knack for this. Here, this might help you work a little hard. Now, does now when he takes your ten ingots, does that count towards the fifty, or you need yeah. fifty more? Oh, it does. So you don't have to actually be able to carry fifty at once. No. <laughs> Although they only weigh one. Him. They uh, wait, okay, that so... entire ingot only weighs a pound. Yep, one I don't pound that. per one ingot. Okay. That is silly. So now we did that, and uh, I want to go talk to uh, someone else over here so that I can get a decent weapon. And then uh, we need to head back to Medea. I don't even know uh, what the point was of me doing that aside from sparing other slaves from doing that. Why would you? 
They'll probably thank you for the information with a bullet to the head. They don't give a rat's ass about you. Hey, not so Okay, see that's not the boss is how I get the weapon through. apparently. Right. Sorry. Wait, what? Oh, God damn it. Hey, not Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do here? Oh, I'm trying to get a weapon from him, but I keep hitting the wrong choices. Auto X. There we go. No, I've seen this thing, and it it is pretty cool looking. Yes. Do what you can with it. Just be careful around the bosses. Make a wrong move. And this is kind of the screenshot. This is kind of from the screen. Sorry, you first. Oh, this is just the weapon that they use to kind of advertise the DLC. Like when you see pictures of it, th this is like what they... Oh, get the auto axe. So this is what they're kind of selling with the DLC. And it has a bug where occasionally when you fire it, it disappears in your hands. You That's how you know it was made by Bethesda. Yep. Are you still holding it now? Even though you look like you're empty-handed? Uh... No, I'm not. Okay. Now I'm holding it. You know, from the screenshots, I'd always thought that the, the auto axe was like a tool of some kind. Uh, it's a steel saw. It's just been modified to do more damage. Part. No, I mean, like, a, maybe, I thought that maybe the idea was that, uh, for whatever it is they do here at the pit, you know, they, they like, auto This is someone them. using it. Oh, so they do have a practical purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting through the, steel, apparently? Yeah, you can actually get a normal steel saw if you kill one of those guys, uh, but... Like, it, the auto axe is basically the exact same thing, but does more damage. But what do they do here? I mean, I understand they gather ingots, which, okay, who's making the ingots? Um, and then they cut steel, but what do they do with it? Because if you notice, metal is not in short supply here. If you need metal, You've got plenty right here in this non-trog infested area. Yeah, what? this this facility is probably made out of more metal than they've ever mined out of it with their crappy yeah. slave labor. Yeah, it could be a purity thing. And it's not this really is like a mine. It's more of a a mill. Like, well, basically, um, when you get to the end here, you'll get access to an ammo press, and what you can do is you can. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it works, but you can take ammo and melt it down and turn it into different ammo. <laughs> you know, the 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 tricky ingredient in bullets is not the metal. It's the other yeah. bullets. It's that other stuff that's inside of the metal. That's the tricky stuff. And if you melt it down, you lose that. From time to time, Asher opens up the arena. Oh, by the way, uh, anyone uh, here made. miss the, the arena bullet. from uh, win, Oblivion at win. all? More oh my Lord. goodness! You know, this is something Asher. I was thinking about. This is was to to him this is something I meant to mention earlier in the series. Is Asher, that Fallout here is the first Bethesda game that doesn't have an arena? And in fact, Bethesda sure and uh, Bioware both have this long-standing tradition of, okay, now. we just make but one big arena and script a bunch of battles in it, it and, and just pad the crap out of the game with that. I mean, Bethesda's first game was called Arena. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, so, it, um, and, and Bioware does it too. I mean, it's just a great I way to, like, make you make one arena and you can turn that into an hour of content or more. It's ridiculous. Uh, but Fallout 3 did not have an arena. It has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. So, um... This is not a well-attended speech. No, uh, you guys probably can't hear it, and you definitely won't be able to hear it when I edit the video and make the video really quiet so that you can hear our voices over it. Uh, but... Like, there is one voice stream, which is just his, and then there's another which I guess is supposed to be the Echo, but the Echo voice, uh... is, like... Saying different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Like, he's that, going on that's about stuff that's completely different. So it's like maybe they're out of sync, and it's like several lines behind him or something. No, it's saying completely different stuff. Like there was one point where he said the the envy of all, and then the echo was the envy of all of Bronto. 
Which I I don't even what? know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, Ronto? It's that's like a. That's what it sounded like. I'm pretty sure that's a Star Wars expanded universe animal. Yeah, that's that's a, like a dinosaur thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing. Which is the um, head. so. Now, um, the way that slaves apparently win their freedom here is by killing a bunch of people that fight in a pit. It's sort of a nice area there. That makes complete sense. So what we're gonna do is, we've been here for like, you know, 15 minutes, we're gonna go win our freedom. By, uh, by killing a bunch of people. So, slaves win their freedom by killing other slaves. This, and this, this people, pit is, you know, and this... raiders who decide they want to fight in the pit. <laughs> so okay, th this is... Yeah, it's like it's cool, accurate huh? that they call this the pit, because well, that's what this down. is. This is the pit that they're, they're throwing their slaves into, completely wasting them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, if you owned a slave, I mean, even if you don't care about them as human beings, they're just property to you. You don't want to see them fight to the death well, without some kind of compensation. Don't tell me I mean, even in gladiatorial matches, slaves rarely died. Like, ba a back in ancient up. Rome. You tell me you want to fight, I set up a fight. You die, yeah, I guess, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking that they have, like, non-lethal gladiatorial here. battles. I get it, you know, it's impressive, it's like, oh, we don't care about these people, so we're having them kill each other for our amusement. But you know, it could make a little bit of sense. You have what you take in with you. But if that's not enough, yeah. there's a couple of things in that locker over there. I mean, so how precious. do you get your they... stuff back? What's to tell? Most die. Oh, uh, you'll see two, soon. No doubt, but that's about it. Are you? So this woman has all these splotches. This is her being infected with the local disease um that will oh, eventually God, turn every that you again. I guess she's she will eventually turn oh, into yeah? a trog. You sure you're ready to die? Supposedly. Although, well, um, it's like supposedly it's like uh, or you can take some, some people turn into trogs, other people just have these skin lesions, and that's it. I like that she said, "Are oh, so you're ready?" To, you said, "I want to fight in the arena." She said, "Oh, so you're ready to die?" And your answer was yes. Yep, I'm ready to die, alright, that's how it goes. That's why I'm doing this, I I can't bear to kill myself, so I'm committing suicide by going into the arena even though nobody's forcing me to. My like, like, theoretically, you're a slave, but nobody's ordering, well, I suppose they ordered you to go get the ingots, but... So here's their, uh, their time thing, is that, uh, they drop a bunch of barrels full of radioactive waste, which I never really understood, but, uh... Oh yeah, that's the other problem with the auto axe, is it takes way too much, um... Way too much action points in bats. Easily the worst part of this sequence is that it reminds me that Beyond Thunderdome exists. <laughs> So, uh, if you stay in there long enough, you'll eventually hit the 1,000 rads kill button. It was rather nice of them that they allowed you to bring in your bootleg, smuggled, overpowered weapon into this gladiatorial bout. They apparently don't care that the slaves can find weapons readily. In fact, uh, Very powerful will, uh, if you collect, um, 50 ingots, Everett will give you the metal blast. Well, you're still a slave. I wouldn't count on <laughs> Everett will give you Damn the most powerful right. weapon that you can get in the game, aside from, uh, like, the Fat Man and, well, uh, right. That's what I like the alien do. weapon. Get on in he will there. give it to you while you're a slave. Makes perfect that's sense. The... Yeah. Yep. That's like giving inmates, like, a shiv as a reward for spending 25 years in prison. Why do I have to manually oh, and it open the gate? And it wouldn't be an arena if it didn't pad itself out by sticking you behind a gate while it, you know, like, introduced the fight. Is that a death clock on? That is. Sweet! So death claws live around here? 
No, that guy just had a death cloud gauntlet, apparently. Who cares? Grab it! Although it's not as good as... The, and that's an unarmed weapon. You're not really doing unarmed, are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm not really an unarmed <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah. But well, it is know, kind of a cool novelty item. Yeah, exactly. I think one of the commenters, um, wait, can't Where remember the name now, there said that they would, every time they killed a Deathclaw, at first they would make a gauntlet out of it, then they just sort of ran out of <laughs> not bad, grinder, not yeah. bad. patience, I suppose. Their brothers were some pretty mean sons <laughs> yeah, of that would get old when later in the game when you're, you're fighting afraid. a lot of Deathclaws and be like, oh crap, place. now I've got to track Here's down another leg rats. brace. Come back when you're ready for your last um, you have to forgive me, because I just played Fallout 2. What's the explanation you for the again. fact that Deathclaws in huh? Fallout 1, 3 are apparently all evil, stupid bastards, be and Deathclaws in Fallout 2 are apparently more, very intelligent, peaceful creatures? You ready? Some writer in Fallout, Fallout 2 went off his rocker and made them into an intelligent species. Well, alright, that's what I like to hear! Yeah, Get yeah, a lot of there. the stuff that we complain about Fallout 3 with the breaks in continuity, the series was already suffering from that. It's kind of interesting, uh... I bought Fallout, the original, again, from good old games, which I cannot recommend that enough. Well, time to pad out the game a little more with the gate you can't open. Um, there we go. When you get the game from good old games, you get, you know, a bunch of cool stuff, like the original soundtrack and everything, and you get the Fallout Bible, which is just this huge PDF written by the game designers. And it's just sort of all of their notes and their attempts to, uh, make, like, these are the notes that they were going to use to make Fallout 3 long before, you know, Bethesda ever got their hands on it. This was back in the, you know, they'd finished Fallout 2. And... Another perk, by the way. You got another perk? Sweet. What yep, I just got more rad resistance. What? Why? <laughs> Why do I have, like, more enough weapons that I actually have to scroll. I am a walking enslaved weapons locker right now. <laughs> Seems this like is an oversight. Okay, you set up a system where your slaves kill each other to no benefit and eventually the winners are set free and in the process they become snowballs of armor and weapons of a just progressively good quality who probably want to kill you. Oh, by the way, here's all my stuff. Remember how they stole all this from me and divided it amongst themselves? Yeah. You weed out want the best and strongest <laughs> fighters, arm them, then set them free. Brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah, let me finish my thought on the Fallout Bible, just in case somebody cared about that. Um, all the complaints we have with the Fallout series and the breaks in continuity, there are even more go th there are even more that we haven't talked about. There's a lot that never even occurred to me. When you get into the nature of ghouls and how radiation works and where super mutants come from and how the GEC works, there's all these sorts of discussions and even the original authors admitted, okay, you know, we can't always reconcile Fallout 1 and 2. Or, you know, they're in game. There is no way to reconcile these two. But here's what we, you know, if we were going to continue this, here's what we would use. Here's how we think it should work. Um, huh. and it's really interesting stuff. Although it does show how insanely difficult it is to maintain continuity when you change writing teams. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, speaking of which, I'm noticing a lot of people, when they talk about uh, Obsidian and Fallout New Vegas, uh, you see this argument all the time. Oh, why did Obsidian get to do Fallout New Vegas? They'll ruin it. And then the defense is, well, Obsidian is made up of the original Fallout developers. That's not really true. They're made up of the Fallout 2 guys. Most of the Fallout 1 guys left. Or were never yeah, part the of Fallout 2 guys. So they were the first people to do a bunch of damage. Now, I don't want to fault on them too much, but Fallout 2 was pretty shaky. It was a lot less stable than Fallout 1. And it did have a bunch of questionable... Like, I believe ghouls were not immortal until 
Fallout 2, and I believe that that was added just so that they could put Harold in there. That's I don't know that. I didn't read that in the Fallout Bible. That was my guess. As to why and they would Harold's have not even a live cool. Yeah. No, he's an FEV mutant, technically. Oh, it's this guy! Well, look at you. Been a while now, since I will say that um, dead. recently New dead. Vegas was coming out, and I was like, it's probably not that good, but, you know, I should pre-order it just because I'm really hankering for a sort of morally gritty post-apocalyptic RPG game in the Fallout main. Then I realized, hey, Dork no Nugget, you never played Fallout 2. You, so I've actually been Asha, playing through that uh, as we record this. I mean, not like... Is that so? I haven't been playing it while we record. I've just been playing it, like, over the past week. Right. Now, I hate to talk about it too much. I, the only t I've only seen one trailer for, for Fallout New Vegas. And we are just on more. the... We are just about to go through... <laughs> nice. We're just about to go through <laughs> E3 here. So by the time this episode airs... We will probably have seen more about um, New Vegas than we oh. know what to do with. I seem to have pissed off everybody. Oh well, I can take all these guys. Really? You don't say, Josh? Huh? Well, I didn't think they'd notice that I was the one that put the grenade in his pocket. <laughs> okay, like, I... Yes, mysterious stranger! Is that like... It's not like you've got a habit Perfect of timing. messing around in people's pockets and having to fight all of them. Yeah, well, in this case, I was actually, you know, putting stuff in his pocket so I could kill him. It's totally different. That's, I mean, nobody that's did that not one better, when Josh. I did that to that's three dogs. That's not better. And I think when this battle's over, we need to call it. Oh, yeah, probably. Okay. I'll, I'll Is that a fat <laughs> guy? That's oh, new. Yeah. That guy was I mean, a, everybody a has the looking. same... Yeah, yeah, everybody that's true. has the same physique. He's friendly. He was friendly. That was a friendly person. <laughs> he was friendly. Whoops. Well, that's too bad. Why can't I do damage to you? This guy is gonna be so glad that he invited you here to solve all the problems for, for Pittsburgh, and that you would just your pro your solution to the problem is commit genocide. Dead men don't Kill have any problems. Well, these are all here. the slavers at this point, so... Okay. I'm sure Asher is just so happy that he invited me up to his office through <laughs> all of his guys that took my stuff from me in the first place, and also, you know, gave all of my stuff back. Like my awesome Chinese working... stealth armor. All of this is working out about as well as it had any right to. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, I think we should save Asher for next uh, episode. Oh, that, oh, and I like how hello. those. For the go next ahead and, five seconds of the and, next uh, episode, most likely. You know, go ahead and take us out, Shamus. I'll kill these guys while you're doing it. That's it. Join us next time when we get to meet Asher and find out what the hell his problem is.